Cheryl Varrath noticed something was wrong with her back in April 2002. I couldn't get dressed one day and I went to see a doctor um, and he thought I'd thrown my back out or my neck out so he sent me for an MIR, gave me some painkillers, but he didn't refer me to a neurologist at the time. Because Volrath worked at a computer all day, muscle strain was thought to be the cause of the problem. However, two months later, that diagnosis quickly changed when it was discovered that Volrath had a brain tumor. What I remember is I went into the washroom, told the girls I was going to go splash cold water in my face. I didn't feel right. And I woke up in the hospital. I had collapsed and had a seizure in the bathroom. Fallrath's brain tumor was behind her right eye and the size of a grapefruit. She had been told to have been growing for 10 years. I thought they were crazy. <laughs> I just like, how can you walk around with a... Because they, you know, not, they only, not only told me I had a tumor, they told me how big it was, right? What I didn't understand was how could I have something that large in my head and not know it? According to the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada, an estimated 27 people a day are diagnosed with brain tumors. The statistics show that there's 55,000 people living with brain tumors in Canada and that 10,000 are diagnosed every year. This PSA was created so the Brain Tumor Foundation of Canada could drive home the message. Brain tumors can happen to anyone at any time. They don't care where you live or what your background is. They're unpredictable. Looking back, Valrath said she had vague symptoms. She was unusually clumsy and had frequent sinus infections. The tumor was pressing on my sinus cavity, which I didn't know at the time. So allergies and that kind of thing are just normal, and I didn't think anything of that. So there were indicators, but just none that were predominant enough for me to think that I had a brain tumor. Volrath was lucky. The tumor was completely removed during an eight-hour surgery. The doctors had to put four metal plates into her head. The tumor was so large, it took up all this room in my head. So when they took it out, it w my forehead would have caved in. So they put four titanium plates in my head. After surgery, Volrath suffered from anxiety for a year. I think it was just the initial shock of what had actually happened, right? Um, and I didn't really absorb it, you know, until after, sort of. There was really was no time to process it, really. That was a big thing, right? So that was probably why I was anxious for a while after. About two and a half years ago, Volrath started to develop seizures. The area operated on had scarred over. What had happened was I had a seizure one day when I was with my daughter. She took me to the hospital. They sent me for some tests. And what they found was the scar tissue from the surgery um, had hardened and caused some spiking, I guess they called it. And that's what was ca causing the seizure. Valrath controls her seizures with daily medication. She's grateful her brain tumor was found. I was at work in a safe place. I wasn't on the road or anything like that. So... Uh, fortunate for that and that they were able to get at it um, once they diagnosed it. Funding is helping sprint. to diagnose tumors faster and surgery is becoming more efficient. The Spring Sprint is the Brain Tumor Foundation's largest fundraiser. This year, 20 cities across Canada are taking place. Edmonton's Spring Sprint will take place on June 2nd. It's a day of gathering and uh, the group is just charged with energy and uh, we've all been fundraising and this is the grand finale towards this big event. So it's a, it's a very, very fulfilling day. You know that when you participate in it that you're doing something that's, uh, that's really worthwhile. Valrath is confident her tumor won't come back. I just got my results in March my 10-year mark, and there's no indication of that tumor coming back. Last year, the Brain Tumor Foundation Spring Sprint raised $84,000, and this year they're hoping to surpass that. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region.